Hello guys, let's create an animation of such an impressive transition today. Create a file, from templates I choose widescreen. And in the settings, I have the value frames per second to 12 and duration 1. I choose a bright colour, let's draw a wavy guide to set the dynamics of the movement. Great, next on the timeline, I hold down the layer and select full duration. Moving on, create a new track and choose a new colour. Now switch to flipbook mode. Start drawing the appearance of lines. First, take three, guided by the guide. On the next frame, increase the size of these three lines, and you can also add one new. On the next frame, also increase the already four lines, and draw a few more new ones. Gradually involve the entire canvas area. On frame 4, we repeat the same thing. Lines are already merging into one area, and add a couple more new ones. Frame number 5. Also increase our shape. It has almost filled the entire canvas. Next, we begin to increase the shape not so much, thus slowing down the speed. On the seventh frame, increase it a little more. Let's make the first preview. Looks good. Now let's move on to adding gaps. On the places where the lines connect, draw cavities that will gradually decrease. This will create a cool sticky effect. These areas can also be broken down until they disappear completely. It is important to orient yourself to the neighboring frame so that these areas move smoothly and evenly. Now you can create a couple more frames where we continue to reduce our areas. Let's check the preview. Well now the filling stage. Filling in Procreate Dreams works terribly, so we have to outline the contour that doesn't get painted. Ok, let's speed up this process. On the next empty frame, add a fill to the whole sheet. Now close flipbook and apply full duration to this frame. Let's watch the preview. What do you think? Now I switch to timeline edit mode and group all the frames of this track. Let's go to the settings and increase the length of the animation to 2 seconds. Now we need to fix the last frame, applying full duration to it again. Now I duplicate the group and move it to a new track, leave it with a slight forward shift. Next, call the action menu and apply the HSB filter. Change the color, it immediately applies to the entire group. And let's also make another group. I adjust the colors a bit. Well guys, today we created an animation of another transition in Procreate Dreams. Let me know if you found it interesting or useful. Thank you and see you in the next video.